Alright, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, fletch some arrows. We're going to be putting on wraps and uh, fletching some arrows. I was in my backyard and I uh, practicing a little bit, messed up some arrows. So, uh, you know, some of the fletchings uh, came off. So I went ahead and I uh, took a, uh, just took a, a sharp knife and just uh, cut the, uh, the fletchings off. And now I'm going to uh, remove the wrapping. Uh, to do so, you're going to need some acetone. And how I do mine, I just take the knocks off, uh, cut off the uh, the blunt, the veins, and then I'll just take the arrow and just stick it into the acetone, and I'll let it sit in there uh, until it eats the uh, all the glue off the wrappings. So it doesn't take very long, you know. If you see here, uh, it's already starting to uh, peel pretty good. So I just keep it in there, kind of shake it up a little bit, get all the acetone on that. Uh, and then I'll be putting on, uh, I have my wrappings, I'll be putting uh, re-wrapping these. And then I also have my, uh, my blazer, uh, black and yellow uh, veins to put back on here. And uh, what I have is I have a 3 degrees uh, helix jig, uh, boning jig, and uh, I like this a lot. Uh, it's real simple to use. All right, with the wrappings, we're going ahead and just oh, they're already starting to come off really good. So as you see here, as I pull out, they're already starting to peel right off. So I'll go ahead and just peel that off, get all that loose off there. And usually the only thing that's left on there is uh, where the veins were actually attached as an extra glue but I'll just work all that off and I'll just stick it back in the acetone and that glue is very sticky anyways so it's, it's coming pretty good get the sandpaper kind of sand it a little bit get all that glue and the excess off there back in the acetone take it back out sandpaper a little bit more get the rest of that off there there we go now it's coming good and clean so I just run my hands over it's nice and clean and uh, ready for some wraps okay I'll take my wraps now my wraps I like to get a, a nice big thick magazine or book here we'll just use a Lancaster archery magazine we'll just set these down all right I just take my wraps and I'll peel them. Now on mine we're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put the blazer side down. So we're just gonna peel this off. Alright. We're gonna just lay it here on the uh, on the magazine. We got enough room. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the vein and just make sure I got enough room here. And I'm just going to set it down and roll it. And I'm just going to kind of even it up just right. And then when I think I got it, all I'm going to do is just roll across it. And that's it. And it's, and it's wrapped. So we got our, that's number one. It's done. Nice blazer veins. And the, the wraps here, and we're gonna do the same thing. So just stick that off there on the there on the magazine, and the same like before. We're just gonna roll nice even right with the end of the vein, right with the end of the arrow, and we'll just roll it up. And there you go. Both of them's complete now. Alright, to fletch your arrows. 
Uh, you're going to need a few basic things. Again, acetone, some fletching glue. Uh, I use some uh, Q-tips. Uh, and you're going to need a fletching jig. Alright. So I have three arrows here I just wrapped. I just installed some wraps on them. So now we're going to put some... Uh, we're going to install the fletchings. So I'll go ahead and place my arrow in my jig. Alright, <clears throat> so here's what here's my basic procedure. Just over again. I just take a Q tip with a little acetone on. I'll go ahead and pick out a one black and two yellow veins. Alright, and I'll go ahead and prep these. I'll take a little acetone. Get a little acetone on it, Q-tip, and I'll go ahead and prep the base of your fletchings. Well, acetone, all this does is uh, clean uh, the contacting point where the fletching is going to contact with the uh, the wrap. I'll go ahead and set those down. And this gets any kind of residue off of it. Make some glue down a lot easier. Right, that okay. Go ahead and start with our cock main. Load in our jig. Apply our glue. And applying my glue. Let's see if I can show you this. I'm just using a little dab. A dab there, and I can put a dab in the middle, and a dab on the end. And then I'll just walk it back, fill it up. Just, just a little bit of that tray, not a lot. Alright, that's good. Alright, and apply it to the vein. The arrow. All right, push that down. So let that set for 15 seconds. Right. And take it off. That's it. Next one, rotate our arrow. Okay. And last one. Apply the glue. Rotate. Sure it's seated well to your jig. Okay. 
Okay, as you can see here, you got your vein on there. Okay, just hold it in place. When you're ready, you just pull it off. Alright. That's the sign. And that's it. Take the arrow out. And there you go. Perfect 3 degree helical. And that's all there is to it.